and I'm an engineer by profession. I'm going to talk a little about shame that comes out of a negative self-evaluation of yourself as a whole person compared to society. The story goes back about 15 years ago when I graduated from university in India, in Bombay. I took up my first job in Singapore. And this was a job where I was continuously on the move. I was traveling within Asia Pacific and also sometimes to Europe and the United States. Uh, it was kind of an international function where I was doing trainings and seminars for our local business partners to help them with their business. So I used to travel around Korea, Taiwan, Thailand, and then sometimes to England and so on, and then come back to Singapore and then start all over again. So now as, as an Indian citizen, I needed a visa to go to all the countries I was visiting. It was rather humiliating for me as, as, a, as a young man. You know, I must have been 24 when I started in 1988 after my university. Uh, and it was rather humiliating because even small countries like Vietnam would not allow me in without a visa. So, over time, I found myself spending a lot of time at embassies and consulates from all these countries that I was visiting to renew uh, my visas, my business visas, uh, for two years, three years. And then after a while I had to go back and, and, and get the visa renewed all over again so I could travel to these countries. So I found myself uh, uh, often visiting these embassies where I was faced with the impersonal, rather unfriendly people sometimes, sometimes unfriendly, who, who live and work, who, who work there. Uh, and they, it's all right, they, they, they were just doing their jobs. Um, so this whole experience as a young man, as a young and a fresh graduate from university in India, when I found that being in an international function uh, was difficult for me, though not impossible, uh, difficult for me, uh, gave rise to this, this, this feeling of, uh, of uh, why me? Why is this happening to me? Because I had a lot of friends uh, uh, in Singapore who were from Europe and from the United States and they didn't need a visa to go anywhere. So uh, I eventually got over the problem, of course, by, by applying for long-term business visas to nearly every country in the world. But this, this lingering feeling of marginal, marginalization uh, and, you know, of, of, of this feeling of being the victim of, of um, my destiny, so to speak, uh, I think gave rise to a kind of a negative self-evaluation I made of myself as a whole person. And this is the shame we are talking about. Now, I don't want to give the impression that this, this, this feeling of being marginalized was so uh, overpowering that it, it changed my life and impacted my life negatively in some manner. No, no, that was not the case. Um, in fact, on the contrary, it was very subtle and, and subconscious. So the only time I used to really feel it was when I went once in a while to one of these embassies, irrespective of which country it was. Uh, this is about me, not about a specific country. Uh, and when I had to relive this situation, 
is when I used to feel uh, 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 this, this feeling of, of deja vu again. So, time went on and then one day everything changed. So how did this happen? I, this was in 1992 in Singapore and I very vividly remember uh, this, this afternoon when I visited the embassy of this country uh, to pick up my passport stamped with the visa, right? Uh, and they had my passport for a couple of weeks and they were going to give it back to me uh, with the visa. So I go there to collect it and I'm, there I am again standing on this counter uh, this glass counter facing this 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 uh, lady from the embassy, and I was thinking to myself, this must be the fiftieth time you are doing this, you know. And time sort of stood still uh, for a moment, and I remember I remember uh, uh, this feeling. I was looking around me, and I was noticing there was such a lot of glass, you know, glass counter glass tables, glass walls. It's amazing, I was thinking, how much glass you have in these embassies and consulates. It is also sterile and, and impersonal. So there I am, standing in front of this woman. Uh, and again, she's just doing her job. So uh, she's holding my passport in her hand. And she says, uh, listen, I can't give you the visa today. You will have to come back tomorrow. Um, and I tell her that, listen, I have to travel tomorrow morning to your country uh, to do this, this seminar. So uh, it can't wait. And she says to me, sorry, I can't give you the visa right now. So, something snapped inside me. I think there was, it was this whole build-up of very subtle, uh, subconscious feeling of being marginalized and, 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 you know, over time. And this was 1992, so I was still quite young. Um, so, as I said, something snapped in my, in my head and I said to her, um, I have just changed my mind. I don't, I will not travel to your country tomorrow, so I don't need a visa. So if you would please uh, return me my passport. So she, she looked very confused uh, and she, you know, she would say, uh, if you don't take the visa, we will not return you the visa fees. You know, some, some $80 I had paid her for the business visa. So I, I say, I, I don't need the money, so, you know, very politely, I was just like, you know, can you please give me my passport back? So, I take my passport, and I run out of the place, and I remember when I hit the street, I was laughing. It was amazing, it was as if in one shot I had emancipated myself out of this, this feeling of, of being victimized, this feeling of shame uh, uh, that came out of this negative self-evaluation of myself. Um, and I was so overjoyed, I, I said to myself, I remember walking down the street in Singapore and saying to myself, never again will I allow myself to be marginalized and, and, and humiliated again, like this. So, that was it. The point I was trying to make is that this kind of shame that comes out of a negative self-evaluation of yourself um, based on whatever reason, it will always evoke a reaction from you. I mean, you can try to, to suppress it, this feeling. Uh, you can try to hide it, but your subconscious 
will be unable to ignore it, so you will react. Uh, in some cases, you, you'll come out fighting like I did. In some other cases, you know, it really depends on the person, it's very circumstantial. Um, so, I also have a feeling that people sometimes tend to confuse uh, shame with embarrassment. And I think the two are very different, shame and embarrassment. They are mutually exclusive. Embarrassment is a lot more superficial. It is, it is also about where you are and it has to do, uh, really it's a behavioral uh, uh, thing. Uh, and it is not so, so deep and, and personal like shame. Um, to give you an example about embarrassment to sort of bring, bring across the difference, um, I could give you a story about McDonald's for instance. In Austria, I would feel embarrassed if somebody saw me coming out of McDonald's. In India, I would be embarrassed if I did not have the money to go to McDonald's because it is seen as a, as a status symbol. The rich people go to McDonald's in India. So, uh, in, I don't like McDonald's, so I don't usually go there because I think there is something really spooky about food that looks and tastes the same all over the world. But the point is, shame is different. It transcends over all these geographical elements. And it is really deep and, and, and personal. There is also a difference between shame that comes out of feeling victimized and shame that comes out of being the victimizer. So, the shame that com comes out of being the offender, it doesn't have to be criminal, but the shame where you feel that you did something wrong or your society the society you live in did something wrong is a shame that comes out of um, conscience and we must realize that shame when you make a negative self-evaluation of yourself because you feel you're the victim is very different to the shame you would feel because you have victimized someone else. And I think these two types of shames, even though the word is the same, these two types of shames are also mutually exclusive.